Taking a look at the weather for the weekend now on BBC Two with John Ketley. Hello again. Well, let's pop across to the States first of all because it is pretty hot in many areas. The deep red colour here around Mexico indicates where the very highest of those temperatures are. It is obviously quite a bit cooler up in the northwest there, up into western parts of Canada. Now those high temperatures have certainly triggered off a quite a number of storms over the past couple of days. The bright red colours here dotted about in the States mean some pretty intense rainfall. And we've picked out a few here, some heavy rainfall for example down in North Carolina Thursday into Friday. More heavy rainfall further south into Jacksonville in Florida, really heavy rain there, some storms. And also going further northwest up towards Kansas here too, we've seen some pretty wet weather over the past 24 to 48 hours. It does look as though we're going to see a large anticyclone moving down from Canada across the Great Lakes into central parts of the states in the next few days. So this area will be rather cooler and dry, whereas on the eastern side, again, that trigger could give one or two more storms around those eastern states and towards the eastern seaboard. And again, a scattering of showers further south across Florida. Now, it's pretty stormy, too, across central and eastern parts of Europe. Look at that thick cloud, the blobs of thick cloud, giving some thunderstorms just a short time ago. In fact, earlier on Friday evening, those thunderstorms were quite widespread. Still a few around even now. And those showers are set to continue through the weekend as well, with that low pressure well in charge across many central parts of Europe. Now, we've got an anticyclone over Scandinavia, so some fine weather to come there, a bit cooler, of course. And we've got some hot sunshine down across much of the Med now, with that anticyclone also pushing down across Italy and into North Africa. So in the west then for the weekend, some storms across the plain of Spain, but around the costas it'll be fine, hot and sunny, very hot in fact. You will need your sun cream there. Going further north up into France, Switzerland, in the lowlands too, a scattering of showers, obviously cooler at about 19 or 20 degrees. And as you come further east across Italy into Greece and Turkey, a scattering of storms over the higher ground, but otherwise it really is going to be very hot this weekend with temperatures about 26 to 32 degrees. So if you're going away, well, do take care, but enjoy the holiday. Now, we've got rather cooler conditions, of course. It's pretty unsettled at the moment. We've got a fairly chilly night out in the west where any gaps in the cloud appear, but on the whole, temperatures remaining about 7 to 9 degrees. But there's more rain to come over the weekend as well. On Sunday, it'll be in the west, but in the next 24 hours, it could be across Scotland in particular, with a scattering of heavier downpours for a while further south across England as well. Is that area of low pressure responsible? That's going to be very slow moving during Saturday, so already some more persistent rain coming in across Scotland. Some patchy rain too across northern England with some more showers gathering as we go through towards the middle part of the day. And then through the afternoon, isolated showers also developing a little bit further west towards Northern Ireland. But it really is going to be a wet day across much of Scotland during Saturday. Temperatures there obviously well down, only about 11 degrees really. On the western side of Scotland rather better and some cheerful temperatures coming further south as well. 16 to 18 degrees and with light winds and when the sun does pop out it won't feel at all bad. But I think generally speaking these are rather disappointing conditions for the early part of June. That's it from me. Good night. This is BBC Two where BBC Learning Zone is an hour away. Till then, it's good night.